Hey, welcome back here. So today I'm coming to review on a product from the house of Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. I've been um, exploring this Middle Eastern house for about two months now, and I'm really impressed with their products from uh, presentation to smell to price point. It's just gorgeous. So I'm, I'm going to be sharing my experience starting with the black incense today. So this is a presentation, beautiful black box. Uh, texture there, you have a, a black incense, the name of the fragrance, and then you have the name of the company, Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. Uh, logo there, AQ, um, at the top, same thing, their logo, and at the bottom, just uh, information. Opens this way, and then you have a beautiful, thick glass, just gorgeous looking. Um, just a uh, really nice presentation here. So you have a metal plate um, indented in the glass there, black incense, same thing with this logo here. Um, on the side you have Abdul Samad Al Qurashi engraved with the logo. On the other side you have the batch number and then uh, information related to the uh, content and then the size, which is an 80 ml for this one. Um, and then the cap is just smooth, uh, a rubber uh, there and then the base is actually metal just heavy metal um, and then you have the name of the company there as well now for uh, distribution it's just wide it's just nice too so um, so what do I get out of this fragrance first of all the name is a little bit misleading black incense you expect something that is smoking or burning incense but it's none of that so and it is a pretty uh, straightforward composition as well as but is the structure of the fragrance that makes it really interesting so pretty much what you're gonna get is a fresh watery type rose with some uh, spices in the background the spices are coming from uh, coumarin and saffron that gives it a little bit of that bittersweet quality and a raw almondy uh, quality but in the background they're just supporting notes um, to, to the Thai rose. Now I said fresh watery Thai rose but then it doesn't feel diluted and then that's when the name uh, the misleading uh, part comes from the name so it says black incense but there's nothing uh, smoky or burning, uh, burning here uh, what you get here is an incense that gives the fragrance an um, air of um, something that is floating, it is airy, it is ethereal, but at the same time grounded. So the incense here is giving that floating feel while the spices keep it grounded. So that contrast is so beautiful. Um, another comparison would be um, if you take an acrylic painting, so you have an acrylic painting, you have a watercolor painting which is lighter but still has color, uh, this composition is going to sit in between a watercolor painting and then an acrylic painting. So not too watery but not too heavy at the same time. As it progresses then, um, it's going to move uh, towards the watercolor consistency there. Uh, when uh, the rose is going to lose um, loses substance and then what you're going to be left with is uh, some fuzzy saffron um, accord in the in the in the dry down so that's pretty much what you're going to get is a pretty linear uh, fragrance so what you're going to get from the beginning so a fresh uh, watery spicy type rose there is what you're going to get uh, throughout the wearing of the fragrance until uh, the rose accord drops and then you get that light fuzzy spices uh, in the dry down now I've noticed that when you spray this on your undershirt, that rose note, the watery, fresh, uh, type rose note remains throughout the wear of the fragrance. It doesn't go that easily. So even in the dry down, when the rose has left um, uh, your skin, you still get that vibe from um, the spraying on the undershirt. So overall, it is a beautiful fragrance. Um, I've not smelled any rose-based fragrance that has that structure of, um, at the same time uh, fleeting and grounded. Again, the spices ground in it, so the saffron and the kumarin ground in it. And then that incense accord that is giving it that floating feel is just beautiful. Um, quality is there. It doesn't smell um, chemically <laughs> to me. Uh, it smells very natural. and. Um, Again, the structure and then the spices keeping this uh, definitely unisex. Um, I don't have any problem. I don't feel self-conscious uh, wearing this. So for performance, I get between six and seven hours of uh, longevity. Uh, projection, I get this beautiful, soft, 
projection for the first three hours, and then um, Siage is average. So overall, is a good performance. Um, age range, anybody, you have to obviously love the note of Rose, the Type Rose note. Uh, if you like Rose uh, accords that have meat and then uh, more, uh, have, have more substance, then I wouldn't recommend this one. Uh, if you hate uh, watery <laughs> Rose accords, I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, but it is an interesting composition. Again, you have to know what you like. Um, the spices are minimal here, so I don't think you'll be put off if you don't like saffron. Is in the background, it just adds a little bit of body to the to the Thai rose here. Uh, overall, beautiful uh, presentation. Smell is amazing. Um, occasions i would say this is a little bit too sexy for the office or to be worn casually but going out uh dinner uh date this would be perfect um so again if the name is um throwing you off and then uh, making you hesitate about trying this don't be because like i said it's not a incense heavy fragrance it's just uh that floating or ethereal aspect of fragrance that makes me think that it is incense but is not a burning or smoky incense so uh, that's you have it there if I was going to rate this I would give this easily an 8 out of 10 uh, taking into account the presentation as a beautiful presentation um, the smell is gorgeous as unique I've not smelled any rose uh, accord like this before uh, but then I'm not giving it an 8.5 or a 9 because of the price point. This will run you um, on discount. I got this on discount for about $88. Normal, normal price is about twice that, I think, like 150 I think. But then they usually have um, uh, sales on their site, something 40% off or something like that. So um, for the $80, it is worth it, but I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because this is easily the same price as a uh, designer fragrance that you will buy uh, at Macy's or your department store. So 8 out of 10 is a really good score for this one. Uh, beautiful fragrance uh, from an amazing house in the Middle East. Um, I'm just impressed by this house. Um, so if you've tried Black and Scent, let me know down in the comment section what you get. And then if you like it, and then if you've tried other offerings from the house, let me know um, which one is your favorite so far. Um, I've been, I'll be uh, doing a review on Brown Incense, uh, Safari, and then others, but Safari Extreme is just a gorgeous scent. So look forward um, to seeing that review from me. Again, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and take care. Bye.